Good morning, PES students and families. Today I'm going to show you two things. One is how to access your remote learning schedule. Um, and the second thing is how to access your Google Classroom, Google Meet link for all of your classes. So I'm going to start out on our PES webpage here. Um, and to access the remote learning schedule, you have to go to the grade level information, hover over that, um, and I'm going to go to our Team 6 page because I'm a sixth grade teacher. Um, if you are in Grade 1, you go to the Grade 1 page and so on. But I'm going to go to our Grade 6 page here. And um, your schedule should appear on your class's homepage. So I see on the left here, this is our in-person class schedule. And on the right, we have our remote class schedule. I'm going to click to download the PDF here. Um, some schedules are embedded right in the web page, but I can see a master schedule here um, and whatever day of the week it is, I'm going to see what my class is doing here. So uh, Mrs. Greenler's homeroom on a day four would have library, Sambor homeroom would have computers and stock homeroom would have art. For team six, we also have our uh, remote learning schedule broken up by homeroom. So this is the Greenler homeroom remote learning schedule here. So if you need a more simplified view and you're in grade six, we also have um, broken up into different homerooms, okay? Um, and so you need to follow your schedule for the entire day um, and you need to access your Google Classrooms for every class, whether it's computers um, or art or math or ELA. Obviously for younger kids, you'll only have one Google Classroom to access. So if you are a student who is in like second or third grade, you might have just one Google Classroom. So I'm going to go back here. I'm in a student account here, and I'm going to show you if you're a student and you're on a Chromebook, how to access your Google Meet mm -hmm. link, okay? So I'm going to click on my Google Classroom. This is a student view. And as soon as I get here, I'm on the stream view and I'm going to click the Meet link that my teacher has generated. The teacher needs to go into the settings of their Google Classroom and scroll down and turn on their Google Meet link. So they need to click this switch right here to generate a Google Meeting link for their students. And if I go back to the student view here, all I need to do is one click on this Meet link at the time on my schedule. OK, and what I'm seeing here is that I can't create a meeting myself, so I cannot join a Google Meet link unless my teacher is in that link. OK, so right now I can't join my own meeting because my teacher's not in that meeting yet. OK, but if I go back into the teacher view and I join my own meeting, right? So it's getting ready have my camera. By the way, um, Google Meeting, when you're joining, you can now change your background and blur it a little bit. That's why my background here is blurred. I'm going to join now. And now I, the teacher, am in this meeting. And I can turn my camera on. And so if I go back into the student view now and I try to click on that meeting, now I'm able to actually join the meeting because my teacher is in the meeting. OK, so now the student view. OK, I'm joining the meeting and I'm going to join now. OK, I'm going to X out of there because um, there's a lot going on here. But um, but essentially, that's how um, I would recommend accessing your remote learning schedule through the grade level information here um, and accessing the Google meeting link here. OK, I'm going to stop recording now and I hope that this video was helpful to you. Okay. Thank you very much. Bye.